What is going on, everybody? As you can see, this dude up here hitting some fucking bomb ass wheelies. In case you guys couldn't tell what I'm on, I'm on the Grom finally. I've always wanted to get on one of these things. I freaking saw one over back in North Carolina, and I've just always wanted to, to get on top of one of these things. We're heading to get a drink right now, and we're just heading to go for a nice little cruise. I was hoping Wheelie Guy was gonna slow down so I could get a better video of him. But, uh, looks like he took off. I guess I just got the one video. Hopefully, hopefully it recorded. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd kind of give my peace of mind on this and what I think about it. I know there's a million other people out there who own these things and there's really only so much you can say about a bike like this. It runs when you want it to run and it does exactly what you would expect it to do. It's not crazy fast, it doesn't go a million miles an hour, but the engine is solid. It, doesn't fail for what it says that it's gonna do. I will say that it's by far one of the most nimble bikes I've ever had. I've never really been able to throw a bike around like this. But I need some dino juice. Okay. All right, now that we have dino juice. And that the light just turned green. Maybe. There we go. But yeah, as I was saying before I had stopped, um, this bike, as I'm sure you could imagine, is just a really strong, perfect little bike. It's got the, it gets the question a lot of like, should this be your first starter bike? If you've never ridden a motorcycle before, is this what you should look at getting? In some cases, yes, but in other cases, no, because like this bike is so forgiving when you make a mistake or you you overcorrect something or whatever the case might be. I mean, if it drops even, it's not the biggest of deals. It's not like dropping a brand new garage rocket or brand new Harley. It, it doesn't hurt inside as bad. It doesn't hurt your wallet as bad. Um, but the downside to it is it really it doesn't have much power the engine is only a 125 so if you put yourself in a situation where you may need power to get out of you may not have the power to do that it has a max speed of like 60 miles an hour maybe and that's really it you're not going to get too much more out of it. I suppose you could do some aftermarket engine work to it and probably get a few extra a uh, few extra horsepower and whatnot, but you're not going to make it a 100 mile an hour bike. It's just not going to happen. It's a 125. You don't buy a 125 to be a 100 mile an hour bike. But with that being said, it also can teach you a ton if you are super intimidated whenever you go to sit on a bike or if you're not really sure about the whole about buying a motorcycle in general i would say that this is a good introduction into it um, you do need to be careful with what roads you take it on the faster the road the more dangerous it's going to be for you but as long as you're careful and as long as you're safe, then you'll have no problems. But also with that, it's not highway legal. It's technically a scooter, so you can't take it on any road. You can only take it on at like regular 
this is probably the fastest road it could go on and this is a 45 but we're finally down in mississippi after talking about it for a few weeks but with that being said i will uh i'll be back in north carolina fairly shortly i'm only here for a week so it's uh it, it's it's a nice to come and visit but what's up buddy all right no way that's cool paying my head in shame but yeah i've actually been uh i've been debating on buying one of these as my next bike just because i'd love to have one to be able to mess around with they're super affordable you can pick up used ones for even cheaper I've kind of I've kind of been battling between buying a Grom and buying a Crotch Rocket. I've always wanted a Jigsaw. I know it's I'm one of those guys that want a Jigsaw, but I've always loved the old old ones with that are like 2008. They have like an angel wing headlight. I absolutely love the look of it, and that's what I've always wanted. But how can I also say no to a Grom? It's cheaper and. It's arguably more fun because you can really go anywhere on one other than the highway. But to be frank, highway riding isn't really the fun riding. It's local, around town, just messing around kind of riding that I love doing. But we'll see. I haven't really made a decision yet, but I also haven't really been looking online to see kind of bikes are available around where I live. One thing I will say after riding around down here is if you live near the beach and plan on getting a motorcycle or want to ride near the beach if you already have one but you haven't ridden near the beach yet, if you wear short sleeves, if there's any sand in the wind, it's going to hurt. It feels like pins and needles slapping your arm. I've only ever worn full face, so I can't imagine what wearing an open face and getting slapped in the face with wind feels like. We lost the man. I couldn't tell whether we were gonna make a light or not. And three quarters of us did. But yeah, if you guys have never seen the Gulf Coast, this is what it looks like, at least from Mississippi. They take care of these beaches extremely well. They groom them every, uh, every morning. I think it's every morning. That way they're always looking nice and pristine. But it's nice here. I love visiting. I don't, I don't know what my plans are. I've thought about going to Texas but nothing's really set in stone. I'll be in North Carolina for another three and a half to four years. So I've got plenty of time to think about it. But we'll see. At that point, I don't really know where I'll be in life. Hi. I know my brother is gonna watch this video. So when you watch this, I'm so much friggin' happier that you're wearing a full face helmet and not some damn brain bucket that's gonna do absolutely nothing if you hit your head. And that helmet looks cooler anyways. Nobody wants to see your face when you're on a bike. Everybody wants to see a badass helmet. That's kind of to each his own. I've, I've, I know the argument of why people ride with open face. A, because it gets hot. But I, I don't really ever have a problem with, with uh, it getting hot unless I'm just sitting in the sun. But whether I have a helmet on or not, my face is gonna get hot. And then people like to feel the wind on their face and they like to kind of get the whole experience when they're riding a bike, but it's just not for me. Oh, that is sick. But yeah, it's just not for me. I, I'll take 
a little bit of extra heat over getting hit in the face with the June bugs and whatnot. My, uh, my air flight has scars all over the visor from getting hit in the face from just different stuff flying out of people's cars. If you get stuck behind a truck that's got a bed full of wood or rocks or whatever, all it takes is one to bounce and smack you right in the eye. Granted, I know you're supposed to wear eye protection when you have an open face, but still, I'll take a big visor over a pair of sunglasses. But yeah, I don't actually know where we're going. I don't know my way around here super well. I was only here for less than a year and then I left. I moved away but I visit when I can. I love how light this bike is. I can't get over it. I was literally sitting in the driveway earlier and we were in a spot where we needed to back all the bikes up and my brother and my father had to weasel their way out of the driveway where I literally picked up the rear end of this bike and turned it around and drove it out. And that's just so nice to me. It would be really hard to put this thing in a spot that you couldn't get it out of whether just with pure muscle or using the 125 it's got. I guess there are like 250 engines that you can put in these, but I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into it because I don't even own one yet, but. What? Oh, it's getting toasty. That is another thing I want to ride, is a jet ski. I've never ridden on one, and they seem so fun. I've ridden just about everything else other than a jet ski. Tesla. I have no clue where we're going. Right here? Like, look at this. This is beautiful. Just put this thing wherever I want. Oh, and that's another thing. The kickstand is part of the kill switch. I learned that today. And I didn't realize no Harleys are like that. All right, everybody, now that I am back from having a quick little drink and kind of getting some fluids back in me, I figure we will uh, finish up this video with uh, just kind of going for a little cruise. It's one thing I will say is I feel like a lot of guys who are mostly on Harleys don't really see groms as bikes and i guess they're not legally motorcycles they're technically mopeds but like why are you gonna judge somebody based on their uh based on just choosing a grom i mean it's one thing i will say is i feel like a lot of guys on harleys not all of them but a lot of guys on harleys don't really see groms as motorcycles and they don't really I guess pay due respects, as in like just giving a simple wave to people on Groms or anything like that. And it's kind of dumb to me. Like, just at the end of the day, if you're on two wheels, it's just about having fun, you know, having a good time. Who cares what other people think? There's probably, there's some bikes out there that I don't like, but if you're having a good time, then what the f 
Doesn't matter, you know? I will say to anybody who owns a, a bigger bike and has never ridden a Grom, if you ever get the chance, what's up, buddy? If you ever get the chance to ride a Grom, take it. It will change your life. You're not setting no speed records, you're not. We lost two people, that's why I paused. But uh, you're not setting no, no land speed records, you're not doing nothing crazy. But it's just, it's so fun. It's just a different way to kinda chill and hang out and have a good time. I don't think it's ever really stressful on a Grom unless you've got somebody that's in a car like chasing you or something. That happened to me. But I was on my Harley and that was still stressful. There they are. I don't know if you guys can see in the mirror, but we got separated by a car. But yeah, it's it's just so stress-free and there's never really a hairy moment on a Grom because it's really hard to put yourself in a hairy situation on a Grom. It's just kind of twist the throttle and go, you know? And I love it. And you could literally... I totally cut him off. But you could literally take this anything anywhere. You could probably ride it through the sand if you wanted to, and it probably wouldn't get stuck. They've got off-road tires you can throw on it, and all different sorts of setups that you can do to really make the Grom exactly what you want it to be, whether you want a little 125 dirt bike, you want a little dual sport, a little, like, I guess, street racer. If you plan on trying to turn a 125 into a street racer, I do see a wall of rain, so it looks like it might possibly rain. In case y'all didn't know, that's the universal sign for rain is twiddle fingers. Looks like we may get caught in some rain. I'm uh, not too sure how this is gonna turn out. This road sucks when it rains, so we'll see. Really pushing this bike to everything it's got. I feel bad because I hate holding it to the uh, to the max on this bike, but on somebody else's bike at least. But at the same time, it's a Honda. I've never ever had a Honda engine fail me in all my years of riding bikes, ATVs, whatever, boats. I have never once had a Honda fail me, so that is one thing I will say is not only is the Grom itself bulletproof, but the engine is a really solid engine for a little 125. I've seen them take incredible beatings and be fine. I don't think that dude is wearing a helmet at all. I don't think that's legal here in Mississippi. Okay, we pulled over to kind of get a new game plan because we were gonna go for a longer ride but as you guys can probably see it's raining pretty hard over there so we're gonna try to get back to the house hopefully without getting soaked but uh, I'm really angry because as soon as I stopped recording right at this intersection I had to stop in the middle of the intersection because somebody not even like tried to beat the yellow light, they just straight up ran the red light. And if I didn't stop in the middle of this intersection, I would have been smoked, like dead on impact because some incredibly ignorant driver just didn't even hit the brakes. Full throttle all the way through the light. Almost hit my brother. And I had to stop in the middle of an intersection just so I wouldn't get T-boned from the side. It was just insane to me. But yeah, that's that's the first I've ever had that happen, here at least. I, uh, I'm not sure if it's true anymore, but I know that Mississippi was rated like one of the worst states for drivers. Like drivers just don't know how to drive. I don't know why. I don't know if people are just constantly distracted or it's just that the driving courses suck down here. You guys will see on the screen if that's true or not, but 
that's what I heard, is that Mississippi was the number one worst state for driving. So, we'll see. Which is not good if you're on a motorcycle, because then you get idiots that run red lights and almost hit you if you're not watching. I would be amazed if I don't get soaked. We're not super far from our house. We're probably 15, 20 minutes away, maybe, if that. But we'll see. That cloud's like just on the other side of the bridge, which is where we need to get to. I didn't even know there was a nature trail down there. Just thought it was a family of bush people coming out of the woods. Looks like I might be able to beat it, because I gotta go this way, and the storm's coming from that way, so maybe I can beat it. But we'll see. It's like right there. But uh, yeah, that's gonna about do it for this video. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. Hopefully, it's about the same 20 minute length that I normally do, but I'm not sure. It kind of, the whole plan's kind of got messed up with this rainstorm that came unexpectedly, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions on the Grom that you want to ask, you can leave them down in the comments down below, or you can reach out to me over Instagram at the official nut. Link will be down in the description below to both my Facebook page and my Instagram. If you guys like this video, think about hitting the like button, think about subscribing. Any support you guys can give is seriously appreciated. I can't thank you guys enough for all the continuous love that you guys keep giving me. It means so much to me. And I, I just don't know what to say. But anyways, until the next video, I will see you guys next week.